Hey, exciting things. We're going to convert some decimals to fractions. So just, just be excited. Okay. All right. Um, if you need to know the other way, fraction to decimal, I will link a video, but let's go ahead and do this. Okay. So 0 0.4, we want this to be a fraction. Okay. Quick thing here. Here's my number 26.592, right? We're, we're pretty familiar with this side, right? This is my ones, my tens, hundreds, thousands, right? Keeps going. Now on the other side of the decimal, sometimes we get a little, I don't know if scared's the right word, but we're just not as familiar with it, right? So the first number after our decimal is the tenths place. The second is the hundredths and the thousandths, and it keeps going, okay? So if this were just 26.5, you would read that as 26 and 5 tenths, okay? 26 and 59 hundredths, okay? You probably get the idea. So basically, following this, if I were to read this, it would be 4 tenths, and that's the fraction, 4 tenths, okay? But um, it can be simplified, okay? Another way to think of it, too, is I just think how many numbers are behind the decimal point. That's how many zeros in my denominator and then it's gonna have a one, right? Okay, so now you just make sure it's simplified all the way, which I noticed both of these are even, so it's not simplified all the way. If you need help with simplifying fractions, I will also link a video. So both of these can be divided by two, top and bottom, so I end up with two fifths, and that is the simplified answer. So 0.4 or 4 tenths, the fraction is two fifths, the simplified fraction. Okay. All right. Let's do it over here. So if we were to read this using our thing here, it would be 25 hundredths, right? So 25, I can also think of it as there's two numbers after the decimal place. So I'm going to have two zeros and a one. So a hundred. Okay. And then this simplifies down. You might just know by looking at it, um, 25 goes into both of them and that simplifies all the way down to one fourth. All right, not too bad, right? Okay, um, hopefully you can get your homework done. Bye.